insurance for six months or so but this is so awesome man check this out yes sir look at this this lovely lady she works for for what do you call this a t-l-o-t l-t oh bmbic see that bmbic all right hey what's up yo all right man and so even in this place she's cooking look at that she's making chicken and and probably some rice. The so, room, sir. Please there's, please the there's a restaurant. The restroom is amazing. Yeah. I tell you, this guy. I'm telling you, it's one of the cleanest restroom I've been in yeah. since yeah. I've since I've been down here. You know, you even some some of the malls. When you go to the malls, the, the restrooms sometimes are not as clean as this one. I mean, it has a toilet seat cover and everything. You know what I mean? And this guy, each time someone go in there, his job is to make sure it's clean. I can't go into the women, but it's just amazing, man. But look at that. She's here and she is cooking. So while you wait for your car, you can get some food over here. The place is huge. It's just amazing, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. So now let me show you the waiting room. I'm show you the waiting room. When you come in, you park, you park your car over there first. You park, park your car in the parking lot. You come to this big white door right here. And then you see these guys right here. And these guys are the one you give your registration to and then they make copies for you and, and you, you bring all your papers in 
and they'll get you up to date. Then once you do that, you go right here where you pay for you pay for it for 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 the transfer. Um, I mean the renewal of the papers, and then you go outside, get your car and drive it in just like this one. See this guy coming in, and then once you drive your car in, you park it right here in this spot right here. And once you drive it in this spot right here, someone come and jump in your car, like right there, see that? Someone come and jump in your car, takes the papers that you, and the, and the receipt for everything you pay for, and then he jumps in the car, and then he takes it over to where the car get checked out. And of course, you know, they check the lights and all of that other stuff and the emissions. As you can see, they did it right there was one step and now they over there the other steps right there so they're checking the emission and so not only that man but they do bikes as well so i gotta bring my bike in i gotta check the and make sure my bike is up to date because you know you ride around and you, you don't recognize that your bike is not up to date so yeah they bring the bike down here same process this is amazing hey guys how y'all doing <laughs> yes this is great this is great now I'm heading into the weight room. This is the weight room right here where, where my boy Ramel is. <laughs> and here's the thing that I found out. So this is the waiting area. This is amazing. Check out this ear. Air. air conditioned too, man. Air conditioned. Check out my boy. That's my boy right here. That's Ramel, the Mr. Good Looking Man. <laughs> He's a good looking freaking guy. This is CCR Cars, y'all. If you ever want to buy a car, this is where you gotta come. I'm telling you, the service that they give you, you're not just a customer or you buy a car and you're gone. They take care of you, man. So when I bring my car back, I come see them. They already know, know the ropes. So I just go see him and he takes good care of me. So this, this area is, um, is conditioned. So you got air conditioning. And you can get a five minute massage and water. Of course, I'm going to drop some water with that. You get the water, free coffee. Free coffee. Come okay. on, damn it. Look at that. You get cold and hot water, of course. So I'm going to take some, some of the water because I am thirsty. You get free coffee or free mocha. And if you want, you get a, a massage. You get a five minute massage. Wow. This is great. Freaking insane, but I'm loving it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So stay tuned. It's crazy nice. Wow, wow, wow. This is the view from the waiting room. Got a big TV screen right here. And it shows you, so you can basically watch your car going through the process. Look at that. I think that's step one. That might be step two. That's, step that's your car. And that's my car right there. I've heard that, that step they call you. And then they call you. Look at that. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, man. Again, again, this is the man. This is your car. Tell them where they can find you, man. Uh, you can find me in Mulakao, uh, beside uh, Ishan College. That's right. You can <laughs> see the big car lot right there. This is the man to ask for. I'm telling you, if you ask for this guy, he's gonna make sure you're okay. He's gonna take good care of you. It's gonna be a breeze, man. And when I say a breeze, I mean a breeze. Imagine buying a car, imagine buying a car, right? And then you have to go check out the paperwork and find out where everything is. Go to CCR Cars, man. These guys, they, they take care of you, man. I'm telling you. And they have a garage. Where is the garage? Okay. Located, yeah, where they fix the cars and stuff. Um, in San Isidro. All right, what's the address there? Yes, uh, you, you can fix it if there's have the pain. Uh, if, if there are problems with uh, the engine, uh, we have uh, a mechanic. Mechanic there, yes. I'm telling you, I know because that's where I bring my car every time. So, I'll tell you. Now, in the weight room, once you wait, stay in the weight room, they call your name. So, I heard my name call. So, now we're heading over to i guess pick up or if, if they find any issues they might tell me i gotta fix those issues whatever the case may be that's where we're heading right now the 
Philippines, man. That's how you do it. You go through the whole process, and then guess what? Once you go through the whole process, you get your car done. My car passed, so now we're heading out. And my insurance is also expired, so we're gonna go to the insurance company and renew my insurance for the whole year. And I'm telling you, it's crazy because for the whole year, it's like 14,500 pesos for the whole year. That's like a little bit over 200, maybe 300 pesos maybe, or under 300 pesos for the whole year. That's what I was paying. I mean, under 300 US for the whole year. That's what I was paying a month. So yeah, we're gonna hit that. And then I don't have to worry about my car being uh, registered or insured. It's gonna be good for a whole year. So I guess we'll Hello, do this again. Uh, we will go to Talisay. We'll go to Talisay right now. So we're gonna go back to where I am and uh, get the insurance there. It's amazing, man. That's where it is. By next year, you, you, you tell me oh, I'm still coming. every, every, every January, year. every January, not uh, a March, a or, <laughs> because uh, you, you have to pay.
Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Maker Albania Osho Al, and of course, I am at CCR Cars. CCR Cars display. There they go. CCR Car display. And I'm telling you, man, these guys are amazing. Every time I come here, I just get the utmost love and respect because of the relationship that I built with these guys. I must tell you about the owner and operator, Ipoy, and his brother, Danny. They are about relationships. They're not just about selling you a car. They're really about, they're really about relationships because from the time we bought the car till today, we have a relationship with these guys. I mean, really good friendship. Invite me for dinner. Invite me on a boat ride. We went on a boat ride. We had a great time. And you know, any little issues that I that I want to to, to to work out when it comes to registration or anything, they're there for me. Now today, I, I, I tell you, I came a couple of days to do my car insurance and my car registration and my car emission. Now, they don't sell bikes here. They don't sell bikes. But because of the relationship that I've built with them, they're helping me with my bike as well. So watch this. Here's my bike. Some of you see the video on this one. This is my uh, Kawasaki Domina 400. And I'm gonna get it registered today. And um, emission test and insurance. Cause you know, you mustn't ride without insurance. Cause if you hurt somebody, hurt yourself, you wanna be able to have coverage. So I'm gonna get that done today, probably at the same place where we went. Probably at the same place where we went uh, and got the car. Uh, uh, done. But this is my man Ramel right here. That's Ramel right here. I tell you, man, CCR cars. If you want cars, man, you gotta come see these guys, man. Ramel, tell them again where, where you are, man. Tell them who you are, how long uh, you've been working here, and tell I'm, them. I, I'm Ramel. I, I've been working eight years. Oh, hold on. Let me get the mic on you. There, there you go. No, sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you're eating. I got you. No, uh, I'm Ramel Heldia. Yeah, I've been here in CCR cars in eight years. Uh, Look, can you look over here? There are many uh, cars here. And, uh, we have uh, a SUV pickup or, or... All right, let me show you some of the cars. Come and visit. Yes. Watch my man here. Not only is a writer, but he's an amazing dancer, man. You should see this guy dance. You gotta check out one of my videos and watch him dance. All so right. he's taking the kibika. All right. <laughs> Yeah.
So one of the good thing about the Philippines that I like about the Philippines, especially Cebu where I live, you can just go for a stroll and as a foreigner, people just want to talk to you and say hi to you and call out to you. How you doing? How are you? And you have no real issue with, with people here. Don't get me wrong now. There's some places that you might go that, you know, you know, there's bad, there's bad apples everywhere. So I'm not here to tell you just go into any area and just go walk up and down. I'm telling you, do your research. Get to know where you are. Get to know who you're amongst, what city you're amongst, what town. See how they react to foreigners there. You know? But when you when you but when you walk in the name of the creator who we serve, whose name is Yao, we're not afraid of anything. We just trust. We trust. And we, we continue to do what we do. So I'm taking a walk because the Good Samaritan <laughs> has opted to take to take my bike and get it all registered and get emission tests and all of that get done. So I said while he's doing that, instead of just waiting around, why not just go for a walk? So here I am going for a walk, checking out some of these stores, maybe stopping by some buku. I could see some by now. What time is it now? It's about 10 o'clock. Most of the department stores are open. And some of the little stores are open. How you doing? The barber shop? How you doing, man? I was I was a barber in, 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 the, in the United States. I want to come back. When is your busiest time? When is your busiest time to cut it here? When do you have more people here? Yeah, like you have customer. When do your customer come? What time? Around 10 o'clock? I want to come back in. I want to come back and vlog you. All right? My name is Mike. Make a What's your name? Tambuk. Tambuk. All right, I'll come back and see you. Check out this barbershop, y'all. Hold on. Check. So, yo, check out this barbershop, man. This is where he works the magic. Look at that. It's a very small bubble shop. Probably two chairs. We got two chairs in here. So I'm gonna come back and do a vlog on this guy because I wanna see him at work. He got all his tools here and everything. His machine. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, that's so cool. Tabunak Barber Shop. Yeah, box. Maxim started 10 pesos. Wow. You see that, y'all? And yeah, look at that. Tamanak Barbershop box. Maxim started 10 pesos. So if you have 10 pesos, you can come and get a haircut from a man over here. Yeah, man. <laughs> and my man right here. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. So that's so cool, man. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. I love it, man. I love it. Hey! hey. <laughs> see, I'm telling you, people are friendly here, especially when they, if they see you with a camera and they know you're a vlogger. Filipinos love vloggers here. Yeah, Filipinos love vloggers. All right, University of Cebu, Pardo, and Talisay. I don't think I can get in there, but maybe. I can show you. It's a university. Ooh. Check out this bad boy right here. I think I could go in there, but how you doing? All right. <laughs> All right. All right, Steve. And everywhere you go, there's a little bar 
not a bar, sorry, but a little, you know, what we call bodega, a little side store. Security on duty, of course. And that's probably a housing complex over there. Yeah. Walking down here, they got a little, you know, a little bakery. Oh. Hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> All right. Just checking out some of the food, checking out your thing over here. Wow, they got uh, oh, they got drinks. They mix the drinks here, I guess. And you can get, of course, your little bakery stuff here. And you can get food. Hey, look at that. All oh, this beautiful food right here. And that look like chicken. Not sure what that is. What, what is this? Paitang uh, Kangalo. I don't even know what that is, but you maybe you guys can tell me what that is. Eggplant. 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 Oh, all right, all right. I'm like, what is that? Of course I know what that is. That's banana. <laughs> so how you guys doing? Having lunch? Who, who's going to buy me lunch? You. Yeah, who's going to buy me? Are you going to buy me lunch? Why not? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. Hold on now. Hold on, hold on. Who's going to buy me lunch? I will free you lunch. Hi, how are you? <laughs> All right. We can teach you something for lunch. Well, like listen, they say Filipinos are the kindest, most beautiful women on the planet. I could see that. That's right. But now I want to find out who's going to buy me lunch. Me. You're going to buy me lunch? Yeah. Shit, man. I will sit with the ladies right here. Can you move this right here? Oh, I'm gonna eat. Oh, you sit down. We're gonna eat. I will buy. Uh, you choose what you want. It's free for you. You see that? It's free for me. All right, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. You give me the free food. You, you guys pay for your food already? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Since none of you are willing to pay for my food, I'm gonna pay for y'all food today. All right. Okay. Okay. Because Americans are nice people too. <laughs> you choose what you want. All right, I'm going to choose what I want now, and I'm going to pay for all these ladies' food today because someone was willing to pay for my food. All right, give me some rice. What's this? Chicken. Chicken. Spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. Show me what you got. Uh, pork stick. Oh, no pork. What's this? Pork. Also. No pork. What's that? Liver. Liver? No liver. This one? Eggplant? Hell no for me. My wife would probably love that. What's this? Oh, Show me that. Vegetable. Oh, that's beef. No, all right. So let's give me get, let me get some chicken, some rice. What else you got here? Soap. Oh, soap. That's fish. Yes. Ah, what's in here? Pork. You no pork. Oh. Yes. What's this? Mongo. Mongo. What's mongo? Mongo soup. It's beans. It, uh, what do you call that? Mongo. No pork. No shellfish is in no, it. No, all right, no. Let me get a little bit of yeah. it. All right. So I want some chicken, some rice, and some mongo. All right. A little bit of that. All right. Okay, we're gonna eat with these lovely ladies right now. So, ladies. Yes. I need to know your names. Tell me who you are, and are you single? Uh, yes. Because you know, there's a lot of people who'll be watching this, and they want to know you. You know what I mean? Because you're beautiful, and they want to know. So, tell me who you are. What's your name? Me. Yes. I'm Jessalyn. Jessalyn, you're yeah. beautiful. Oh. And where do you go to school? I noticed you guys in the white outfit. What's what's that all about? Uh, we're doing nursing. A nurse. Yes. Oh, yeah. you know, there's a song in Jamaica called Night Nurse. You ever what heard it? it? No. It goes, Night Nurse, <laughs> only you alone can quench really? this thirst. You see it? Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. So, and you go to the university over here? Yes. Oh, okay. University I, of Sydney. Yes, I passed that just no. now. All right. Awesome. And what's your name? My name's Tyler. Tyler? Yeah. That's Tyler. A, oh, that's awesome. And are you single? Yeah. All right. Tyler is single, y'all, and she goes to the university, and she's going to be a nurse, so she's very tender, and she knows how to take care of you. <laughs> so, all right. And what's your name? I'm Christine. Christine? Yeah. Beautiful name. So, Christine, Thank tell you. me a little bit about you, and why do you decide to become a nurse? Okay. <laughs> oh, listen, you're going to have to do an interview because, you know, you're going to get a job, so, you know, you got to be ready. Because my family, uh, family, my relatives are, I uh, know. All nurse? Yeah. Uh, are you single? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you guys. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. If I was single, I'd be checking out these ladies. But I'm married. Yeah, I'm off. I'm off. Yeah, I'm off the table. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get ready to eat. 
Yes, yes, yes. I'm off the table. What is your name, my love? Lily Bell. Huh? Lily Bell. Lily. Lily Bell. All right. And she was willing to give me free food. Can you imagine that? You see that? That's love. I'm gonna pay for mine, though. Huh? I know I'm thankful. I'm grateful that you were willing to give it to me for free. But I'm gonna pay for it, and I'm gonna pay for the ladies and their drinks. All right. So we're gonna eat. Oh. All right. So I told you that well, I'm going to eat. I was get you off the video, but I heard something that I said, okay, I have to get on the video. So these beautiful lady uh, ladies asked me how old I was. First, they asked me how many, I was married, of course. Off the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm off. And second, they asked me how many children I have, and I told them seven. And they said, but you, oh, yeah, seven. Four girls, three boys. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, say now, say now. Say handsome, guapa, 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 yeah, all right, so all right. You heard that, you heard that, right? Um, come on now. All right, all right, the ladies know. The ladies know. So when I told them, I said, you know, I have seven kids, they said, what do you guys say? What do you guys say? I look young. How old do you think I am? <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard that, right? 34, 35. You see that? 40. See that? 34, 35, 40. You know how old I am? I'm 53 years old. Yeah, good black, don't crack. Yeah, good black. <laughs> good black, don't crack. There you have it. Man, I'm going to eat now. Leave me alone. Let me eat. Let me eat my food. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm 53 years old. You got napkins, papers. All right, guys, I'm going to get into my soup right here. And what's the soup called again? Mango beans. Mango beans. All right, so I'm going to try mango, mango bean soup right here. Ooh. Okay, let's, let's get into that. Mm -hmm. This is really nice. This is really nice. Very tasty. Nice, nice. All right, so <clears throat> this bean soup tastes really, really well. So if you have not tried it, y'all need to go and try this soup. I mean, this is really good. Yes. What, where is your store located? What's this area right here? By Ra okay, all right. This is right beside, <clears throat> on the same hand as the university, UBC. U uh, UCBD. UCBD, yeah, something like that. <laughs> university, right down this road right there. Give me a second. Ooh, this is really good. This is really good. I love this. Oh, oh, I love this. It's bean soup. Rich. Nice. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is really, really good. Mm. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. One thing when, when it comes to food, taste is very important to me. It, when it hits your tongue, you must feel, you must get that, mm, you know? And this this definitely does it. I'll be back here. Mm, very nice. Thank you very much. Take a nap in here. Sweat like a pig. Why, thank you. Now, I'm going to enter into the chicken. And the rice. And I'm gonna pour everything out in that like that. Yeah, I'm gonna mash up the rice a little bit like that. It's served really nice, as you can see. And now I'm gonna get right into it. Watch this. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful, awesome. I see why the ladies come here for, for, for lunch because 
the food is very, very tasty. Very, very tasty. Mm. Mm. Chicken is well done. It's not too soft, not too hard. It's perfect. Perfect texture. Perfect taste. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I eat a lot of chicken in my life, so I can tell you, mm, really good, really good. Soup's good. Food is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this is really good. This is really nice. I see why you guys come here to eat. Now, do you guys come here every day? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because it's pretty close in their school, and oh. also their food is like um, always cooked every day. Mm. Abroad. You know, it's amazing the stigma. Is everybody in the States, or almost a good percentage of people in the States, want to move to the islands? But islanders want to move to the States. I was born and raised in Jamaica. So coming to America was one of the biggest things. You know, you want to come to America because the buildings, the people, it's, it's really, it's really awesome. But over time, it becomes mundane because you're working, 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 constantly working. So for, for ladies like you who said, okay, I want to come here, I want to go to America. What you want to do, you want to go to America, make as much money as you can and come home. Be because the lifestyle in America and just the fast will just have you partying, getting nice things. You'll, be, you'll become materialistic. You don't really enjoy yourself. You don't go out and enjoy yourself. I mean, you go to different places, but after you do, it runs amok. It becomes mundane. And as you get older, there's just so much traveling you can do, so much partying you can do, so much money. And when you look when you look at the hindsight of it, you waste so much money trying to fit in or trying to have this and not have that. But when you come here, you take the American dollar, you you, you quadruple it because you get 55 to 1. Yeah. So if you get the American dollar and you come here, you live like a king. So we, being a 53, raise all the kids. You know, coming here was a, was a really good choice. But we, to answer your question, we came here because of a belief. <clears throat> yeah, it was a belief. So I just did a, I just did a YouTube channel on that, I, I post on that. So go watch my YouTube channel, and I think we call it, they so they ask, so we tell them. So, so they ask, so we tell them. I think that's the name of it. It's the one I just put up before this, and it's gonna explain everything to you. Yeah, we come. Yeah, the name, man. There's a power in the name. Since you're living in the Philippines, where do you reside now? Right here. Oh, Tabernacle, yeah. Yeah, Tabernacle. I love it here. I love it. How long are you staying in the Oh, forever. I ain't going back. This is it. This is my home. I'm not going back. This is my home. Yeah, it's where I live now. Are you wanting to buy this farm? Maybe. You never know. I have farm. You sell it? You're selling a farm? Yes. All right, but then how are you going to provide all this good food? <laughs> no, my concept before is from farm potatoes, mm. but it's time for me to go there and come back. Yes, no I'll be coming back to talk to you about that. Yes, yes. I can offer you uh, good rice. All right, sound good? Yes. We, we will definitely talk. I would definitely love to see your farm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yes, um, then we have 60 so big, big and big. Mm. 
Well, we're allergic to pigs. We don't eat pigs. Chicken, goat, cow, lamb. Yeah. Mm. I'm liking that. Okay. You got like well or rib? Mm. I love to come. I love to come and look. Look at that. How far away is that? Mm-hmm. I've never been there. I think the furthest I've been is Balamban. That's it, right? Balam. Bal- yeah. It's closer. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I've been there then. I've passed through there. Okay. All right. So these ladies are these ladies are real good companion. I told you guys. I told you that Filipinos are the sweetest, nicest people ever. Very respectful, very friendly, very loving. And I wouldn't. I, I'm so glad that Yahoo brought us here to the Philippines to be able to be amongst these people. I love you guys, man. I love you guys a lot. Thank you. Thank you for your your beautiful country. And thank you for your hospitality. And you know, if I get sick, I go come look for one of you guys to, you know, yeah, yeah, to, to, yeah to do me up and nicely. All the food are gone, guys. Look at that. Food ain't no joke. It was beautiful. The soup was delicious. You got to come here. So now let me go over here. So tell them. I want you to tell them exactly where your restaurant is located. Uh, it's uh, Bulaco beside uh, UC, UC all right, let's do that again, just in case they didn't hear this. Well, let's give right. so, um, yeah. It's Jeep Food Junction in Bulacao, Pardo. All right, it's a beautiful place right here. It's a beautiful place right here. It's not too far. There's another barbershop over there. And it's, you know, it's, it's definitely not too far. And it's called uh, SG Food. Uh, the junction, food junction, yeah, man. They do bakery, they, they got bakery, what else? Uh, laundry, everything is done here. This is crazy, but yeah, it's not too far from the school. So, if you come right out here, you can see the university UCP. What is it? UCPT, UCPT, <laughs> the university says so not too far from the university. You come right out the door to the university. And just come right across this little walkway right here, or driveway right here, and you will see it. Come right in and tell them I sent you, man. Okay, this place is really nice. I do enjoy it. The food was really good. Yes, it's a very small place, but and they have some, you know, bakery and uh, bakery good. So yeah, come and check them out. Come and check them out. So we didn't have the mic on. You, I guess you guys couldn't hear us, right? <laughs> we were like yapping, yapping, but you can't hear us <laughs> because the mic was on. So, but now the mic is on. Now you can hear us. So take two. So I tell you, I had a really wonderful conversation with these lovely ladies. They're about to become nurses, and you're gonna see them in the world. They're gonna make an impact in the world. We had a really good meal, really good conversation, and now I'm asking them, what is the best, our greatest YouTube channel in the world? Now living in the Philippines. I can't hear you. Now living in the Philippines. I can't hear you. Now living in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I hope the mic is on this time. <laughs> oh, man. What a power lunch. I call it a power lunch, man. We had a wonderful time with those wonderful girls who are studying not to be nurse. <laughs> Hi, guys. How y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs>
They love it. They love it. <laughs> See, ex now, now living in the Philippines. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I tell you, they love it. They love it. How you guys doing? <laughs> All right. Wow, I tell you, they love the vlogging, man. I tell you, Filipinos love vloggers. You know, so I think one day I'm going to be famous down here because they just love the vloggers. And I'm a lovable guy, so. But yeah, that was a power lunch there. Yeah. Meet those beautiful ladies, young ladies who are studying to be nurses, man. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Great conversation, great food. I'm, hung, you know, I'm always out here. And my wife always tells me to, um, to make sure I eat. You know, and that's something I I don't do sometimes. You know, I'm, I'll be out here sometimes till 4 o'clock and I don't eat. So I'm glad I found a place. And I'll definitely be coming back there. That soup was really delicious. And uh, the food was really nice. Servants was just perfect. And those young ladies, ah, oh, those young ladies were were really interested to talk to and and, and, and learn about and had that great conversation with so yeah man i'm really really excited about that and really really grateful and thankful they impacted my life i impacted theirs they didn't buy me they didn't buy me my lunch they didn't buy me the lunch that i asked them to buy but they did um <laughs> they the owner of the, the restaurant lee lily lilibet lilibet yes i never heard that name before elizabeth it's not elizabeth it's actually lilibet lily l-i-l-i-bet so it was awesome she actually gave me the food for free. So I bought their food and blessed them with that. And they blessed me. It was a really wonderful time. And I'm heading back up. I think my bike should be ready. But I'm going to stop right back at the um, the barber shop to see if he has uh, a client in there. And, and then we'll take it from there. All right. All right. So I just entered back the barber shop. And guess who is doing a haircut? I'm going to watch him. He look like a genius at work here. Watch this. <laughs> Check him out, man. This is so cool. He knows his stuff. Look at that. That fade is tight. Woo. That is nice. How you doing, sir? I'm fine. Fine. What is your name? I'm Rabbi. Rabbi, how long have you been coming to this barbershop? Um, uh, a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. How did you hear about this guy? You just saw him and just come in or yeah. someone told you? No, yeah, just come in here. Just come in here, yeah. and you have never, you know, you have never stopped coming since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. I am a barber myself. I have a barber shop in the in the states. I have two barber shop called Kings and Queens. Ah. Yeah, but all of that is in the past. Now I'm here, and I I love barbering. I still got all my tools and stuff. Ah. But yeah, man, I always wanted to see, you know, a professional at work. So, man, that looks nice. Woo look at that. Are you still uh barber? Oh yeah, I still do it every now and then. But I have a brothers here that does barbering, a couple of them. So I just like I let them do it, you know. I go around vlogging now. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a barber shop in here in, in here? In here? No, no, no. Nah. I thought about it, but I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm done working with my hands now. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Oh, now. I'm retiring from the barber visit. But you never know. I love it though. I really love cutting here because I like to see the transformation. I like to see, you know, how you come in one way and go out another way. Yeah, yeah. Man, look at that. Look at that. That is, man, that fade is tight. And he's not even done yet. He's going to clean up this line right there. He's going to clean that up right here. You didn't see it. He's going to clean it up and all this is going to be gone. How man. much the cost in the US? Oh man, my barbershop was expensive. I charge a hundred a hundred dollars a haircut. Hundred wow. US a haircut. That's what fifty five? That's five thousand yeah, five hundred wow. here? That's what I used to charge. Yeah. Here in the Philippines is only hundred pesos. Yeah, hundred yeah. Yeah. That's why I look at it, I look at the numbers, I'm like, man, how many years do I have to cut to make to make ten dollars? <laughs> <laughs> like you know if i charge ten dollars a haircut us that's like 50 that's what what am i saying um 
ten dollars is what fifty five one dollars is one one u.s dollar is fifty five dollars here so ten dollars would be five thousand five thousand five hundred so one hundred would be what shit fifty five thousand bucks this is, <laughs> it's crazy that's what i used to charge and this guy know what he's doing man look at that man he's yo this is tight you like that uh, player? Yeah, I know. Everybody said that they call me Shaq <laughs> or Kobe. <laughs> like Shaq. Yeah, everybody say that, man. Man, that's nice, man. You know what you're doing. How long you been cutting here? How long you been cutting this? Seven, seven, seven years. years. Wow. You know what you're doing, man. Oh, shit. How that. about you? How long? I've on and off for about 30 years, but professionally, I've been cutting here professionally for about six years. Wow. Professionally. But, you know, people come to the house and you will, you know, you cut their hair or they'll cut, you know, I'll go to their house and cut their hair. But professionally, like in a, in a barbershop, six years. Wow. Yeah. Have you cut a celebrity's hair? No, actually, I have not cut any celebrity. Yeah. But I met a whole lot, but I have not cut them. But I've cut a lot of wealthy, rich yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. I cut a lot of rich. You know, this is nice, man. This guy knows his work. Woo wee! <laughs> Yo, man, this is nice. Man, I'm. Have you, how, how long have you been here in the Philippines? I've been here nine months now. Ah. Nine months. Yeah, and this is my home, man. I'm. Yeah. This is my home now. I love it here. Yeah. You have a house here? In no, I rent here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You just stay here in vacation? Oh, no, no. I live here now. I moved to the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. We came here by the power of a name, man. The name oh. Yao. We came here by a belief. You know, we believe that this is the, you know, we believe this is the birthplace of, of creation. Yeah. Where more people people believe it's um, America, I, I mean, sorry, they believe it's Africa, but we believe it's here. We know it's here, so we come back to the place where creation was started. <laughs> yeah, man, y'all, y'all seen this, man? This guy know what he's doing, man. Look at that. He's doing the fade right there. And as I watch him, he doesn't use any clip. He used the he used the um the comb as the clipper. Wow. You have a, a page or a oh yes, my page is now now living in the Philippines. Wow. Now living in the Philippines. That's my page. This guy knows his work, man, and his blade is sharp. Look at that. So hot here. Yeah, I like it though, man. You know where I'm from in Maine. It's very, very cold. <laughs> a lot of snow. I don't miss it. <laughs> I had a big driveway that I had to shovel each time it snows. Oh, <laughs> oh, I do not miss it, man. How's the Philippines? By the way, I love the Philippines, man. I love it. Yeah. I love the Philippines. I love living here. I love the people. I love how friendly you guys are, man. Yeah. Friendly. Kind. I love it here. I really love it. Man, look at that. He's doing you up really nice, man. Look at you. I mean, you're a handsome guy, man. Look at you. You're you're a handsome guy. With you're you're gonna be even more handsome when he's done with you, man. Look at that. All the ladies. You married? Are you married? No, no. Are you gonna be married now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I met some nice single ladies over there by the university. Um, yeah, I had lunch with them. It was really, really nice. Yeah. You know, maybe they'll see this video and come look you up. What, what, what's your What's your name again? Um, Rabbi. Rabbi. Yeah, yeah. All right. And Rabbi, how often do you come here to, to get your haircut? Um, once a week. Once a week. All right. Yeah. And it's, it's do you choose any special day or you just pop in any time? Uh, anytime. All right. My good. hair is growing up. Okay. So guess what? 
ladies. You you know who you are. I have a girlfriend. Oh, you have a girlfriend? Ah! Oh! <laughs> All right, man. There you go. He has a girlfriend. He's off the market. Sorry. Y'all can't get He's off the market. I was trying to set y'all up, man. Every time I see handsome guys, I try to set them up on the single ladies, but he got a girlfriend. He's off the market. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. That is oh freaking song, man. Look at that. Precision cut. Look at that, man. That's beautiful. He's, this guy knows what he's doing. Man. He knows what he's doing. You must have a barbershop here in the Philippines. Yeah, man. I like to come here. I'm going to put my chair in his barbershop. You know what I mean? You know, I learned some things from him. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll come down here, I'll bring all my tools and sit right here with you. <laughs> Who's, whose chair is this one? It's a, it's a game for this area. Who's this? I'm only one. Oh, you're the only one? Yeah. Maybe I'll come down here and, and, and mess around with you. You can teach me a thing or two, you know? Maybe I can learn something from you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Yo, he is doing it up. Ooh, let's check out his razor work. Ooh, -wee. how long been have you been vlogging? You know, I started vlogging when I came here. Wow. Yeah, I came to came here nine months ago, and I stopped vlogging maybe six months ago. Wow. Yeah. And you, the, the turnout is good because um, I got I got about almost six thousand subscribers in wow. in less than five months because of the the Filipinos Filipinos love my vlogging man they they love my vlogging so they supported me they support me a lot. So, so every, you subscribe your YouTube channel. Yeah man, now living in the Philippines. Yeah. So every chance every chance I get to to support a Filipino. I do because they support me. Wow, check it out, guys. You guys gotta look at this. This guy is no joke. Yo. His razor game is is on point. Yo, on point, I tell you. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to see this. Look at that, man. Ooh you know, back, we'll put the chair back and get you all relaxed, but this guy's doing everything in one shot here. No, no, no tilt back at all. Just look at that. Razor work is on point. Guys, if you need to get your hair cut, man, I think I found, we found a barber shop here for you. Yes, can these guy, this guy is, this guy's on point, man. Look at that. He's on point. Very light on the razor. Look at that. Goodness gracious. Look at that. Look at that. That is that is tight. Woo! All right. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of my um my trick that makes the guys come right back. So watch this now. See this eyebrow right here? You got to touch up the eyebrow a little bit. Just a little bit. Just make it clean it up nicely. Yeah. And that's that's an extra 10 pesos right here. You see the eyebrows right there? You just touch it up a little bit, make it nice and curvy. Yeah. The ladies, man, because that's for the ladies. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit on the edges. Use the razor and just touch up a little bit on the edges of his eyebrow. And watch that. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. So he gets. That's how he gets the ladies. You know, the ladies. They're gonna be like looking at him and go, "All right, this guy is. This guy is. Look at that. This guy's a handsome dude, man. <laughs> handsome dude. Grappa, 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 grappa." And every like every barber, man, always do a final touch. You never just cut the hair like that. You just do a final touch. You know, if you miss. Wow, this is nice, man. Yo, I'm telling you, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice.
Where did you live here in Cebu? Talisai. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. A little bit. I'm learning. I'm working my way around. You must. You must taste the lechon. What is lechon? Lechon is a chicken. Roasted pig. Oh no, no pig, no pig for us. Allergic, allergic to the pork. Allergic to the pork and shellfish. Yes, yes, yes. Man, chicken, chicken, steak, goat. Ah, yeah. yeah. Goat and wow. That looks nice, man. Yeah. So I'm not. Come on. You got to touch up this ear right here. Come on. Right here. Just a, just a little bit of the edge. Yeah, man. I'm giving you some secrets here. Hello. How you guys doing? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> yeah. That, if you do that, you're going to get a lot of people coming back here because the it's all about the whole face. It's not just the hair. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> See that, guys? And how many barbers are doing that? Not many barbers down here is doing that. So he's probably going to be the first one to do it. And you're going to see how sharp. You can hit it with the razor and curve the corner. Look at that. You see how sharp that you see? Look at look at your look at the left versus the right. Look at the left eyes versus the right eye. You see the difference? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Watch this. Gives you a clean look. Yeah. There you go. Ah. Yes. This is the first time you have it done, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm telling you, you're never going back, man. <laughs> you're never going to go back. Yes. Yes. See that? Look at the outcome. Look at that. Guapo, eh? Ah. <laughs> you see? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You're never going to go back. Every time he comes here, you're like, yo, touch up the eyebrow. Touch up the eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, man. This guy knows his stuff, man. Look at that. Yeah. I'm glad I stopped by here. He he knows he knows his stuff. Look at that. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right there. Ah! <laughs> he is a handsome guy, man. Look at this. Check out his eyebrows. Look at his eyebrows. Look at that. Yo, he's ready to go, y'all. He has a girlfriend. I almost got him into trouble, but <laughs> so if you see this girlfriend, I, I I didn't know. I didn't know. I know now, so I apologize. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. It's nice. Let's get a look at him in the sunlight. Go right in the sunlight over there. Don't don't get killed now. <laughs> Watch that, man. Look look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Woo! So just in case. You thought he wasn't beautiful and handsome and guapo? <laughs> All right, take it easy. <laughs> you did a good job, man. He did a good job. All right. All right. What's, what's your page again? Now living in the Philippines. Now living in the Philippines. Yes, yes. All right. Follow your page. Awesome, because you're going to see this today. I'll put this one up today yeah, yeah, yeah. so you get to see it. Yeah, All right. <laughs> again, guys, you got to come check out my man. What's your name again? Raymond. Raymond, you gotta check out Raymond, man. He, he got skills, man. Not too far, again, not too far from the university. The food down there, the university, he's right there on the same the same stretch. And he did a good job. I like his work. I like his work. Awesome. Awesome. Man, that was rewarding. That was rewarding. Next time I come down here, I'm gonna bring him a gift. Because I have, like, you know, spray for the machines, oil for the machines. And, you know, I noticed there, you know, he, he doesn't have that much uh, spray or stuff, but I'm going to bring him some equipment, you know, to, to make him efficient. I give him a little tip that I had. A little tip that I had was, you know, just to do up the eyebrows. Do the eyebrows of the males because it's not just about the hair. Yes, the hair look good. It's really about the face. So the goal is to transform the face. So I'm going to teach him a little tricks, some of the little tricks 
that caused me when I was a barber in the States to make more money than guys who could cut here better than me. Guy who guys who could cut here better than me. I've learned how to develop a relationship with my clients. And because I develop a relationship with my clients, it's all about relationship, guys. Just like I develop a relationship with CCR cars. You know, sometimes you're not really good at what you do. You're not the best at what you do. But because of the relationship, oh my goodness. And I was making more money in the barbershop in terms of what I charge than other people who were 10 times better than me, work 10 times longer than me. You know, in our barbershop, we were charging about $40, 40, uh, actually $25. I remember we were charging $25, $35 a haircut. And I just upped my price to $50. So when they were charging $25 and $35, I was charging $50. And when they start charging $50, I doubled my price and start charging $100. And I was getting clients, and I wasn't working a lot, like, you know, how barbers work from sun up to sun down to try to make a, a good day. Me, I could do four years a day and I was good. Four or five years a day and I was done for the day. I had my family, I could go home to my family. I didn't have to stay in the barbershop that long. And if I do decide to work eight hours a day, that was big money, you know? So I could work, I could just work one day and I get a week's pay, you know what I mean? So I wasn't greedy. I didn't have to have 35 years a day or 10, 15 years a day. All I had to do was just strategize, if <laughs> I say that word right, and just, you know, cut a few years, a few years a week. So if I cut four years a week, I was perfect. If I cut four years a day, sorry, I was perfect. You know what I mean? But if I cut four or five years for, for the week, I still got a, 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 nice, a nice paycheck. So it was the relationship that I built. And they would call me up and I'll be like, all right, man, let's go. And if they call me up and they say they want to, they want uh, a haircut and they're not on the schedule. That's extra money they would pay me. I didn't have to ask them, hey, I'm going to up you 20 or $30. No, they'll pay me because they know my time was valuable. So these things I learned. And so I'm going to go back and meet my bro my, 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 bro my man over there. And I'm going to, I'm going to bring him some, some gifts to get him a little bit more efficient. Teach him a thing or two, how to, you know, recognize the needs of his client and, and, and you know look at their facial and look at the hair that's growing around their their necks and ears and nose and all these different things and if you just take the time and just remove those ears and make the face look nice i think my next shot i'm going to go down there and i'm going to have him do my do, give me a nice lineup because he's he's good with the razor work but i'm going to bring some like i said you know um some uh, uh what do you call that uh, not this, uh, what do you call that uh, disinfection and all these different things. I'm gonna bring all that for him, and you know, get him, get him up, get him up to speed, man. Get him up to speed. All right. Whew, my bike is ready, and um, I'm tired. Oh, I gotta go. My second bike. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. How much? How much? So these are the guys, man. I take care of my bike when I go to the Kaisana Mall. 
My oh, peeps my, right there. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my guys right here. Yeah. All right. So I got to Gaisano Mall where I bought my motorcycle. Yeah. There's always a place for the motorcycle. So I parked it right there. And I got these guys, man. They take good care of me. Every time I come down here, they put me in the shade. Yeah, I get, I get, you know. Again, all about relationships. So when you're building relationships, people take care of you. The way you treat people, right? So you got to make sure that you're treating them right. You're treating people right. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, these guys know me very well, man. I'm out of my sea and all kind of stuff. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Uh, all right, yeah. So yeah, like you know, you come down to the guy's channel mall, you look out for people, they look out for you. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna head to to the guy's channel mall and pay some bills. I do pay some bills here, but first I'm gonna take a little trip up these stairs, and I'll catch you guys when I'm going into the mall. So here I am at the uh, Gaisano Mall where I come to pay an electric bill. My Gcash is bugging out and when it's bugging out, you have to do it manually because you don't want the light cut off here. You cut your light off, you not only got to pay a fee, but you may have to wait a while to get the light turned back on. So you don't take a chance with that. So you want to make sure you come and pay it, especially in the due time, the due date, because I think you, you get a couple, maybe a couple of days before they actually cut your light off. You don't want that. You don't want that. So I'm here to pay my bill. I'm going to pay it right here. The guy signed them all. And I'm going to probably go over there and I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to get a Buku or I'm going to get a uh, 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 lemonade. Uh, the lemonade is really nice. The Buku is, you know, of course, you know, the Buku is my favorite. They make that drink over there. My boy Victor over there. I didn't, that's probably him. So yeah, we're going to gonna go over there and get a drink. I did eat, so I'm good. But I'm going to get a drink. And then after this, guess where I'm going to go? I'm going to go make a call and see if my license, yeah, my Filipino license is ready. I have the paper copy. But now I'm going to go get the, um, I'm going to go get the original. And my bike, the, all the paper, I passed the emission test on my bike. So that's good. And I got it insured. That's good. And so I pick up the papers in a couple of days. And then my bike will be up and going. So. Again, you don't want to be driving down here, riding down here without insurance, at least for a foreigner, because, you know what I mean, they'll come down on you real hard. <laughs> and besides, I like to be, I like to have my stuff up to date and make sure my stuff is legal. So get your paperwork in order. And yeah, that's it. So for right now, I need my hands. So I'm going to pay the bill. After the pay the bill, I walk around in the food court here and I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to get a lemonade or buku. And then I get back to you. Peace. Okay. So I just finished paying my bill. And now I'm going to go over here and get me some the good, nice lemonade. Do you have to go containers? Like bottles? Do you have to go? No. Only cup, sir. Uh, only cup. All right. Give me a large one. Give me a very large one there. Um, classic. classic. And I'm, yes, yes, yes. The lemonade here is in. Incredible. When you come down, you got to look for this lovely lady here. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? And the lemonade is incredible. I'm telling you. Look at these beautiful ladies over here. Look at that. Say hi, guys. <laughs> so beautiful. Filipinos. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to get a lemonade. All right. So I opt for the lemonade. I'm going to come back and get the buku. I got to make some other runs and I... The line was long. I, I start to become long. So I decided I could do the book for another time. But I'm heading back to the bike now. I'm going to head home. I'm going to head to the DMV. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Oh. Yes, man. Now living in the Philippines. <laughs> hey! 
Yeah, man. My peeps, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> my peeps, man. My peeps. <laughs> when you spread love, love will come to you in return. Woo. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> my man right here. Where am I? Where you put me? Oh, I saw it. All right. See? It took me out of the sun and put me in the shade. See that? That's the love I get here from these guys, man. How you doing? That's the love I get from these guys right here. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Where's the music, man? No dancing? <laughs>